Yo, so I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while, and even if I am really tired right now, uh, tonight seems like a good enough time as any other. So I want to talk about my experience with physics so far, and it's, I'm not in college yet, but this is my life as a aspiring physics major, and even as an aspiring physicist. I want to major in physics, but um, I'm pretty certain that I want to take the professional route and become a professor and do research for a living. Um, you know, that's a, that's a tentative decision. So I'm taking my physics degree, but I'm toning in on the, on the professional route. So there's like the general physics degree, the, the astrophysics degree, and then there's like the professional degree. And that's the one that I'm going for, which is going to pretty much prepare you to do research. But I wanted to talk about why I decided to major in physics and what my day looks like a little bit. Cause I just feel like a video like this would have been pretty interesting to watch as a junior or even a senior, um, tr just trying to figure out what major I was going to do. So at first I thought that I wanted to be an aerospace engineer major because not only is it physics heavy, but I watched a few videos on YouTube and you know, aerospace engineering has job security. A lot of people can get jobs with an aerospace engi engineering degree right after a four year degree. So it seemed pretty uh, attractive to me, but I decided that I would only be doing that for the job security and because it seemed like maybe it was the easier route, but I want to follow my passion. Like, why would I be going to aerospace engineering? Why did I think about that in the first place? Because I like physics, because the physics of it is interesting. And building is interesting, but uh, after a little bit of self-exploration, I guess, I decided that the physics is what I'm most interested in. So I decided that I would want to major in physics. So that's how I decided I wanted to major in physics. And this was literally like at the beginning of my senior year uh, in 2022, so this most recent year. Along with that realization, I. I also realized that I probably don't know as much physics as I would want to, uh, even going into my first year. Uh, of course, they're going to teach you from the basics, but I don't know. Physics is known to be a difficult degree. I, I wanted to make sure that I can put in the time myself and make sure I knew how to study properly um, because throughout high school, I never really studied. Uh, high school's honestly kind of a joke. At least the high school I went to, um, it was easy to get A's. So if I'm going to get A's, why am I going to study? But I wanted to learn a little bit myself and see if I could uh, see if I had what it took to you know really study on my own because I know that that's something I'm gonna have to do in college anyway physics is no easy major um, I would need to know how to study so yeah I started studying physics uh, and it started out with just like an hour and maybe like a half an hour even just like a half an hour to an hour a day but then I added on calculus into the mix because calculus is literally the language of physics as I've heard I forget who said that, maybe like Richard Feynman or something. Calculus is practically the language of physics. So I figured, okay, this would be good to, to study too. So I had physics and calculus in my daily regimen, just studying every day. Um, and then I started branching out into chemistry and other sciences and other history. And I, I don't know how it happened. I sort of just uh, fell in love with, okay, maybe fell in love is a little dramatic, but I just grew to, grew to really enjoy learning, uh, learning not only physics, but all these other topics that I guess were related to. So in that sense, literally in just the past year, physics has changed my life. Um, and I think it's a good thing that I've grown to really enjoy learning because that's what physics is. Physics is nonstop learning. It's a lifetime pursuit. Even as a professional, even if I was to become a professor, I'm still learning constantly. When you Physics goes so in-depth that as a specialist in a field, you're going to be constantly learning about what you know, the newest uh, discoveries in whatever the particular field is, because uh, each each professor is usually specializing in a very specific thing, because physics is so broad and difficult and can go so in depth that in order to make progress on like a big scale, you need to have a lot of professors in like smaller different fields. It's very rare where you can find an Einstein that can understand relativity, relativity and quantum mechanics. Um, even though I guess he, he may have understood it, but he didn't believe in it uh, for, I guess, you know, religious reasons. God doesn't play dice with the universe, but that's besides the point. So, yeah, in that sense, physics kind of changed my life because even now um, I'm, st I'm still studying every day. as just part of my regimen because uh, it makes me feel pretty accomplished and uh, I've just grown to like learning. And I, I like knowing how this stuff works around me. Uh, recently, I've been studying a lot of chemistry because to know how stuff works how how because everything is substances everything is just atoms and molecules uh in mixtures 
and how the chemistry is the study of how all those mixtures and atoms and molecules interact with each other. So it's really cool to know like what paper is made of, which okay, I don't know exactly what paper ma is made of. I know it's made of like 3000 chemicals, um, which is, it's just crazy. Um, what everything else is made of, how it like bio, how it interacts with our body. So like the biochemistry of it. Um, I started doing experience, experiments since it's the summer and I have a little bit of extra time and those are really fun. It's really cool to see how different uh, chemicals can react and like produce hydrogen gas. So um, uh, uh, what was it? Aluminum chloride and hydrochloric acid. If you mix them together, um, and put like a, a in like an Erlenmeyer flask and put a balloon uh, around the top hydrogen gas is gonna fill up the balloon and you can tie it off and light it on fire and it'll make a big explosion that's one of the experiments I did this summer and it's just fun dude like learning in itself makes you feel good about yourself like oh I accomplished this and that today so you know it was a productive day but it's also just fun and that's that's another reason I'm really looking forward to majoring in physics because uh, st studying it has I've really not only is it was it interesting but now I really have fun learning and doing it uh, physics has kind of literally like changed my life in that aspect so yeah that, that pretty much covers I guess what I wanted to talk about um um but this semester if anyone's curious my schedule is going to be uh, honors physics one and analytical physics lab and then multivariable calculus. Since I'm in the honors program, um, I, I applaud to take uh, honors with calculus three. Calculus three is just multivariable calculus. So honors calculus three, I don't know if I got in yet because apparently only like 80 students get in in the entire uh, university, which is like kind of crazy. But I guess since it's like an honors class, I don't know. Um, but that's what I was told, at least for the specific section that I would be taking of honors calc three for this first semester. And then I'm taking elementary Japanese. Uh, I actually qualified to take 102, but I have to take 101 since it's full. It might sound kind of random, like, okay, this dude takes Japanese. But yeah, that's another thing I started learning. Um, you can actually see, I don't know if I'm curious. I got a, this is N1 kanji right here. And then I already mastered, well, okay, maybe not mastered, but I can read all of hiragana and katakana. So anything written in Japanese, in hiragana or katakana, I can read it. I might not understand what all the words mean. Like, I can read it and sound it out, but like, what does it mean? I don't know yet completely. Uh, the amount of words I know in Japanese is probably, I actually don't know. Like, maybe like, to give a rough estimation, I'd say I probably know like a thousand words. Um, which is really not a lot. There's so many words in every language. But, so I'm taking elementary Japanese, those three physics and math class and then uh english unfortunately like i like writing and reading but english can be boring i think um is that it oh and i'm taking a seminar on the flow of time okay so i guess that counts as a physics course um that one's gonna be really cool it's how like vague just a vague explanation it's how entropy increases in the universe over time um, essentially how the universe is constantly moving towards a more chaotic state. And I'm really excited for that. It's a seminar though, so it's not exactly a class. I literally just have to show up for like three hours every week on one day. And I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I just have to show up during the lecture and just maybe there'll be a little bit of work, but I'm, I'm really excited for that. That's gonna be really interesting. And I think that pretty much sums it up. And I'm gonna have a part-time job too, and I wanna join the Society of Physics, uh, yeah, the Physics Society, I guess, and the Math Society, maybe the Chemistry one too. I, I'm planning on making more videos like this because, I don't know, I kind of want to just like share my experiment experiences in college and also have them on record for me to look back on and for me to just see like what was going through my head at the time because I think that would be cool to look back on. So I hope this was entertaining, or uh, maybe you, I don't know about learn something, but um, just got a better idea about uh, what, what it would be like to study physics. I mean, I'm not even in college yet, so this is just like my experience so far. So yeah, leave a, leave a like, leave a comment, say something nice maybe, do what you gotta do, and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.